Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two, and we just finished having a uh, <clears throat> nice time at the cabaret club. Yes. Welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Bats. Last time we finished chapter five, we reassembled the uh, picture. And now Chelmy has apparently found the murderer. So we're going back to the He's hotel. He's gonna blame us. He's going to blame us because would you really think he wouldn't? Ah, yes, Mr. Layton. Good, so good, to, yeah, so good you could finally join us. With you here now, we have the real suspect of the murder of Dr. Chandler Gafford in this room. Dr. Who? Grander. Oh. Slander. Oh. Okay. Sassel. Okay, we do got everyone. I'm just gonna call him Pina Colotta from now on. A few days ago, renowned, renowned archaeologist Dr. Andrew Pina Colotta has found, was found dead in his London home. His murder is still at large, but look around you. You could very well be sitting next to the culprit. No. Um. Must you yes. suspect me? What a nonsense. What reason could I possibly have to kill a man I don't even know? But scorn the uptake, eh? Mr. Bahuga, every person in this room is after the Elysium box. What box ties each of you to our dead man? It's not doubt that one of you, one of you did it, the, he did the deed. I'm putting this case together. I'm so putting this ca case together has been a triumph of police work, Inspector. So, tell me, what are the facts you've unearthed in the last few days? Watch closely now, Mr. Layton. This is how we unravel mysteries in the Scotland Yard. You have my what? full attention, Inspector. Please hypothesize away. First, I will under Flawson's through evidence obtained in the late doctor's office. According to his notes, Pena Colotta spent quite some time in the town researching the Elysium box. When I learned that he died shortly after returning home to London, everything came into focus. We were from the first part of the doctor when he was inquiring about the Elysium box here in town. Spy, sparring a chance to tame the coded box, the fiend followed the doctor to London and murdered him. Huh? No, oh, no, that's it. Now that deduction's worthy of London's finest. So, how is this thing? Who's our man? Hold your horses, I'm getting there. To summarize, the culprit must have been in Florence before. Okay. What's more, this person must have also had the ability to travel freely between the here and London. Okay. Now, as we all know, the only way to was affiliated with the Montreal Express. I have that ability. In now, all eyes are turned to Mr. Beluga, eh? Oh? Well, turn them back. Mr. Beluga stated he was in London conducting business that day, and his alibi checked out. Okay. Huh? But if it's not Mr. Beluga, then. That's right, our murderer stands before us. Oh. And his name is Piss Pants McGee. So he's not accusing us. Okay. Also, no as Sammy Tanner. What? You gotta be kidding, man. I know Mr. Beluga has ordered you to turn over every stone in this town to find the Elysium box. You worked like a dog and you resent that treatment. So you decide you'd be him with a punch and make off with his precious box. This is an outrage, sad, yo. What, are, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm being framed. You're out of your gourd, man. 
Now I see why the box eludes me for so long. You've been holding out on me, Sago. No, I haven't. I swear on my favorite leather pants. Come on, Unko. You know me. I never do anything that crazy. You'll have plenty of time to tell your to tell your story back in London from our cell. Now come along. Pulls out a clock. Oh. So it was the conductor after all. I didn't think he had it in him, but at least we can all rest easy now. You really believe that? Professor, do you really think Sammy could have committed such an awful crime? Also, Flora, you smell off. You know, we smell flowers. Oh, right. I smell like... I smell like garlic. Right, I forgot that was a whole plot point. Well, all we have to go on is this single torn photograph recovered from the doctor's room. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so that's the Elysian box. Wow, very fancy. I like the cute goat design on the top. How do you know it's a goat? How do you know it's a goat? We don't have the full picture, how do you know? Oh my. Flora. Hmm? Thank you, Flora. I knew something didn't feel quite right, but thanks to you, it's all come into focus. You lying bitch. Really? So I'm not crazy. She does smell like garlic. Garlic and... Is that patchouli? No. Oh. No, sorry, that's just depression. Let me go. You come along quietly if you know what's good for you. I... When the hell was their voice acting? One moment, Inspector Shelby. I believe we've all committed a large and rather unfortunate oversight. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something right now, Layton? Where are you going with this, Professor? No one here has ever seen the Elysian box that we've been looking for. True. The one and only piece of visual evidence we possess is this torn photograph. And get to the point. The point is this, Inspector. The only person who could know what the Elysian box looks like is the suspect you're after. Did Don Paolo kill a man? And it is this person who must have stolen the box in the first place. Yes, and I've got the slippery fellow right here. Ow! Take it easy, officer! Pipe down, you hooligan! <laughs> and watch the hair, will ya? Wow! Sorry to disappoint, but he's not the culprit. Score. What? Stop talking in circles and get to the point, Leighton. Who should be wearing the handcuffs? Isn't it obvious? If the criminal does indeed reside in our midst, he or she would be the only one of us to see the Elysian box in person, which means the culprit. Uh. Hmm? Must be you there. What? Flora! <laughs> Inspector, look here. That's the photo I dropped. Indeed. This, for those who don't know, is a piece of evidence recovered by the Inspector. It's a photo of the Elysian box, and I have every confidence that this shot depicts the real thing. So, this little knick-knack here is what started the whole mess? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit outlandish for my taste. What with the bizarre frog head on it. Aha! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. I see you've put the pieces together too, Luke. Inspector, the emblem decorating the top of this box depicts not a frog, but a goat. 
A goat? Not by my eyes, it doesn't. That's just it. This photograph is missing the piece containing the goat's eyes. In its current form, the image looks like a frog to most people, as was the case with you, Inspector. Flora, dear, I believe you said the design looked like a cute goat, did you not? Hmm. Well, that clears things up nicely. If you say you saw a goat, that must mean you've seen the real Elysian box before. Why you? Who are you really? <laughs> I don't like these flora sprites. <laughs> well played, Layton. I don't like that either. I'm sure you're very proud of yourself for seeing through my disguise again. <laughs> Waluigi! Who was? Curse you, Layton! Yes. Curse you and your floppish hat of yours! Don Paolo, did you kill a man? Don Paolo? I beat you to the box and give it a little more time or we've beaten you to cracking a secret! And of course, the hairs and fortune would have been mine! Uh, but the ship sails now. So you're the one who had the Elysian box the entire time. Another brilliant deduction from Layton's little brat. Clearly, he's learned from the best. <laughs> but yes, you're right, Twerp. I sort off the old fool while he was snoozing on the floor. He's probably got a cold sleeping, sleeping on the ground like that. Not that I care one iota. Do you not know that he's dead? Or is he not dead? Snoozing? But Dr. Sancher wouldn't sleep on the floor. Wait a second. He's imposing his floor. Where's the real Flora? No, she's probably making hay angels with cows back in the dropstone barn I left her in. Well, damn. Or maybe she's just sitting and fumbling because you bumblers didn't even notice we swapped. I thank you too. But I thank you too, Dose, for your help. You've given me more than enough information. The jig may be up, but the dance is far from over. I'm so close to unlocking the secret of the Elysium box. I just now I just merely need to take the box to the. The? Holy it right there, you bastard. Ah! What did you get there? I have a lot of questions. And you... And you will answer them once I escort you back to London. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Ha! Got you, you slippery little bitch. Ah, you meddlesome oaf. I have no idea how slippery I can be. I'm like one of those eels. Mucus, go. Mm. Ah, don't stand there. This worm's getting away. Oh, God, it's everywhere. Mm. <laughs> Fool, did you really think a soft-bodied flat foot like yourself could catch me? So long, you foppish bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You think you can give me the slip, eh? I'll catch you yet. You big bitch. Oh, wait, 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 wait for me, Inspector. Barton, get the cattle prod. I'll get the human catcher. Barton, oh, you get the tiny wagon. Oh, you baby. Wow, look at the three of them shake a leg. Didn't think they had it in them. I must say, I never once suspected Don Paolo had been posing as Flora, and for so long. I sure hope the real Flora is okay. Yeah, but you can't forget to pick her up on the way back to London. Of course we won't. 
but I'm sure Flora's having a grand old time playing with the cows. John Flora, probably. Hmm. Another thing getting out of my head is what Don Flora said about Dr. Sancher. Er, right, we're just calling him Pina Colada because his name is impossible to pronounce. Schrader. Pina Colada. Mm-hmm. The way he was talking it didn't sound like he killed Dr. Pina Colada. But if he didn't, who did? I think you're spot on there, Luke. Something else is responsible for the doctor's death. Right now, I'd say the Elysian box is the key to learning what that something was. I guess we've reached a dead end. If only Don Paolo didn't run off with the... Professor, look! Ain't that the damn box? Well, look at that. He must have dropped it when he was running away. So this is it. The Elysian box. All right, end of game. We've we've done it. We've got the box. Last. The box it inside sleeps the key to uncovering our massive family fortune. I beg your pardon, sir? Mr. Linton, I do ask you head of the box now. As a son of the late Duke Harrison, I am the rightful owner of that box. Box belongs to the Harrisons? You ought to be hearing, boy. Inside the box is the key to cracks in the secret to the Harrison fortune. I said this, are you daft? Seeing as how I share the bloodline, that box should pass into my hands and no one else's. Oh my, that does change things. I suppose we'll have to... Uh, Mr. Beluga, listen to yourself. You're no more entitled to that box than I am, or any other person in this room for that matter. You listen here, Potter. This is none of your business, so I suggest you keep your opinions to yourself. No, I'm sorry, but I won't stand by and watch you claim that box as your own. If anyone has a rightful claim to that box, it is the current Duke of Full Sense himself. Besides, I've heard about you. You turned your back on this town and left of your own free will. In my book, your claim to the fortune was lost the day you walked out of Full Sense. Ooh. Okay, okay. Talk your shit. Oh, that so? You got some nerve. Care. If what Kranz says is true, I am afraid I can't hand this box over to you in good conscience, sir. Hey, Unko, what do you say we give up on chasing this box? Keeping stuff on the deal is exhausting. Don't you tell me how to run my affairs, Samuel. But if you forgot who signs your paychecks, you unwanted bastard of a child. Damn. I never even wanted to be a conductor in the first place. Plus, playing errand boys getting old, man. It's more than a guy like me can take. Sammy Thunder wasn't born to work a 9 to 5 gig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does he have a microphone and a guitar? Sammy Thunder was born to rock! Hey, world. I'm climbing back on the rock train and riding it to the top. Yo! Ignore, what are you babbling about? Come back here at once! I'm sorry, Mr. Beluga. But I think I'll have to hold on to this box for the moment. <laughs> mm hmm, damn. Fine, do what you want. Hope that awful box curses the lot of you twice over. Eat shit. I miss my wife.
There we are. Box's location solved. Beluga search solved. Solved. Only a few right. more. We only got five left. Seems Don Paolo wasn't responsible for the doctor's death. Maybe it really was the Elise and Box's fault after all. Yes, it sounds like the Doctor had already collapsed by the time Don Paolo arrived on the scene. Perhaps you're right, Luke. The box could very well contain a lethal element that killed the Doctor. But without seeing the box's effect in action, how can we be sure? Surely you don't mean... I do, Luke. You must open the box yourself. It's the only way. But what do you mean, me? Please just hold on a moment. Was I her? I don't even find, I don't remember. No. Katya? Is there any way I can convince you to let me have that box? It's of vital importance. Why? Before I do that, I would need to know more first. Why is this box so important to you? I'm sorry. It's not for me to say. I'm gonna assume you're the real heir. But I must deliver that box to... to somebody important. I must. Hmm. Who is this person? I... I can't tell you anymore. But once I'm done, I'm certain this awful curse will go away forever. The curse will end, and... and everything will be over and done with. And he'll... There's a boy. Whatever do you mean, dear? Yeah. Somebody, anybody, jump quick! Somebody else just got taken away to Herzen Castle! Somebody got abducted. The vampire's gonna suck him dry! And then he's gonna steal his soul! Oh Should no. Should've been me! Oh. Why'd it have to be him? Why? Why couldn't it should have been me? What? No, that's impossible. Mm hmm? Just a quick. We gotta go! We gotta go chase Katia! We gotta go. What the hell is ho happening now? I, I don't know what she's on about, but I guess we gotta go! Mr. Layton, you have the, uh, you have the 45 revolver, right? I'm as confounded as you are, Luke. But after our discussion, I am doubly now sure this box contains a greater secret. But sir, sir, you got, you got the revolver, right? I have the Layton lock. The path to understanding everything lies right before us. While potentially perilous, opening the box seems to be the only course of action left to us. Understood, Professor. Let's take this to our room so we can open the box away from prying eyes. Okay. 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 What's going to be in the box? Leave your guess right now in the comments below. It's a key to your mother's room. <laughs> Indeed, Luke. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Huh? It's empty. The box is empty, and we're still alive. Well, shit. Then it would seem my theory was correct. We've been bog-snapped. What do you mean, Professor? Damn, we missed four puzzles to Granny? Oh, that's fine. We must head back into town and do a bit more asking around. I need to confirm my suspicions. Hmm. Someone done took the contents. Alright, well damn, that a lot just happened there, but we have done no puzzles, so I'm good. 
Okay. Sammy? Yow! It's my main dudes. You're the only reason I didn't catch that bogus charge. To say thanks, I pulled some strings with the museum curator and got him to open the place up for you. It's not much, but maybe you'll find some righteous info there to help your case. Make sure you check it out. Alright. Nice. My uncle never really told me much about it. I just know he had some kind of blowout with his dad and decided to leave for good. He did talk a lot about the brother he left behind, though. He has a real soft spot for that guy. Now it looks like that gnarly vampire is running around the castle. And I hate to say it, but I doubt anyone survived that wicked scary monster moving in. Ooh! Book key. Oh. Book. I'm gonna guess Beluga's brother is whoever's in the castle, the supposed vampire. That just makes sense. It would sense. be funny if it was Beluga's dad. Damn, that did. Three more pages of the journal. We do in numbers. <clears throat> Today is a day to celebrate. At long last, the girl I love has agreed to give me her hand in marriage. I must begin preparing for her arrival at once. I'll gladly change out the castle's decor if it will make her feel more at ease here. I'm also commissioning a special dress to be made for her. She's going to look stunning in it. I just know it. Let me... As the Duke's... As the Duke's son? Yeah, this has this has to be Beluga's brother. Hmm. Okay, so Beluga's brother met this girl uh, whose dad didn't like her. My younger brother always seems so irritated with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We cannot leave this town even if we want to. My younger brother has left for good. Gold from the mines. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm putting the pieces together. When we go in that castle and we see that man, things will be will be put together. Nightclub. Hello there, miss. No, we we know the real woman we want to see. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. All right, we got four. You think we can we can do these? Let's, uh... We can. Oh, let's work we can out... probably do at least one. Let's work out the brain fuzz plaza puzzle. Twenty-five picarettes. So there's a big old statue in the middle of this plaza. When you take away the area occupied by the statue, the pizza looks kind of, the plaza looks kind of donut-like in shape. What you gotta do is divide this donut plaza into two identically shaped parts using only one line. Oh, and before you get any ideas, the dotted line, the dotted lines shown below won't cut it because they're actually two lines. Okay. So we have to make it two identically shaped parts but we can't go across the middle because that's technically two lines okay So, one line, and it has to be two identically shaped parts. Yes. Uh huh. This is a hard one. It's 25 pick rats. It has to be a trick question. Maybe that line is two, but we could technically... But 
Wait, 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 wait. Would that technically be one line? Priest, all right, save. This should do the trick. Yeah, no. Gang. Let's look at a hint. In the example, the pause is divided by two lines, which makes the answer invalid. Back to you, you need to use a single line to answer the problem's key. Since you can only use one line, you know you won't be solving this one by drawing lines through the middle of the plaza. Yes. Even if you avoid drawing your line through the center of the plaza, no single straight line will divide the plaza. By the way, did you notice the goal here isn't to make two pieces that are the same size, but merely the same shape? Oh, you bastard. Okay, not the same size, but the same shape. I just realized there's a dragon in the design. Oh yeah, right there. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so the same shape, but not the same size. But what shape? This should do the trick. Hmm. Hmm. How is this 25 picarats? If you're still having trouble, you should note that the single line you need to draw is a circle. Hmm. Where to place it? A circle. Oh, it's a it's a donut shape. Should do the trick. Please let this not be too finicky. This should do the trick. Okay, good. Yeah, you little sneaky little, little bastard in you. Alright, let's let's do one more. Smell the roses again. Forty picarats. Nothing smells quite as sweet as fresh cut roses. Can you help freshen up the whole room with their fragrance? Right, this one. We did one of these. Tap a square, place a rose, fragrance reaches two space in all directions but can't penetrate walls. The fragrance of two more overlaps. Keep them spread out. Restart, restart, restart. Go, go, go. Let me, uh... Okay... This shouldn't be too bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Close. Yes. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> hmm. Let 
Let's see. He's a genius. He has done it. Behold. Piece of cake. Behold. 110 brain power. Lovely jubbly. And I think with that, we'll do the we'll do the next ones next next time. That was a lot of story, damn. Hey, we finally outed Don Paolo as weirdo. So that's good. Sitting at 88 puzzles. I'm feeling pretty good, sir. Are you feeling pretty good? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Good, 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 good. All right. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time. When we probably go to the museum and see what's there. Maybe. Perhaps. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.